There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Wait, what's up with that box? The time has come for judgment and retribution! What the... Did a Nordahl just come out of that box? Who are you? Very well. You ought to know the name of he who consigned you to the flames of hell. Wait, wait, I wait. am... You were that Norman, right? Phoenix or whatever? Ha! No wonder those letters were so full of empty threats and blustery nonsense. Bien! This is bad, bad! The self-styled strongest Norman of all Norman is the mastermind behind all of this! Self-styled? I am the man among men, the strongest Norman of all Norman. I am Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, we've covered that already. So you're the one who wrote all those letters. What's your bone with me? I merely seek to right wrongs. I recently came into possession of a letter from a sister pouring her heart out to her brother. I traced the letter back to its sender, and one day paid her a surreptitious visit. There, I found a sweet, innocent girl. Surrounding her were presents from her brother, and mountains of letters she couldn't bring herself to send. Letters she couldn't send? Heartfelt letters for her older brother. When I read them, my manly tears fell over the same salty stains left by hers. What the hell is wrong with you? Who reads someone else's letter and then decides to break into their room? I acknowledge that I am partly in the wrong. But for all that is righteous, I cannot condone you. I do this for your sister, clasping her hands in well-worn gloves as she sends prayers for her brother's safety across the wide blue sea. Enough of this nonsense. What is it that you want? That is a question you should be asking of yourself. What do you mean? Just what is it that you're communicating with the superficial scrawlings and shoddy baubles you send her? He's trying to atone- Don't be absurd! Which is the real you? The considerate brother who worries for his sister? Or the man who consorts with low-life scum and pirates? Why can you not at least be honest with her, pirate? She is your sister. Why can you not tell her of the life you've chosen to lead? Do you think her too weak will to forgive your decision? Is that what your beloved sister is to you? I don't have to take this from you. Fine then. Show me your power. You asked for it. Then it's settled. If I win, you will go visit your sister immediately. But if I lose, I will obey your every command. <laughs> You're a funny one, Phoenix. I like you. Laugh all you wish, for the last laugh will be mine! I think I'll have you crying and stay. Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel! Blade of Heaven's will bless my Do it! 
when you said you were the strongest. No kidding. Strong or not, you picked a fight with the Reaper. Time to pay the price. Wait, Aizen, what are you? Hmm. I thought so. That's why you're called the Phoenix, isn't it? Your blessing has the exact opposite effect as my curse. Hmm. So you finally noticed. So, if Phoenix has that kind of power, then couldn't he protect your sister? I admit defeat. I await your command. No. Why not? I believe we should each steer our own ships through life's waters. I know that the life I've chosen is a selfish one. <sighs> And I know that it leaves my sister lonely and sad. But it's also the only way I know how to live. <sighs> if I gave you a command, it would be denying something at the very core of my being. So no, I won't do it. Except... Yes? If you're able, I want you to use your powers to protect my sister. Protect her from demons and malevolence. And from any dragon who may one day attack her. A dragon? Are you serious? This isn't an order. It's just a request. Well then, I accept your request as your friend. But in return, I have something to ask of you. Yeah? I want you to write her another letter. But this time, no hiding what you're truly thinking. I'll wait as long as it takes for you to write it. No need. What? I've been carrying this for so long, I'm afraid it's kind of crushed. My friend, I swear on my honor that this letter will reach your sister. And I promise, I will get her to smile once more. After all, I'm the Phoenix. With me, life rises anew from the ashes. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Then it is time I'm on my way. Come, turtles! At your service! Oh! I'll deliver this package myself, even if it costs me my life. Farewell, friend! That Phoenix, what a guy. He doesn't back down even when he's lost. I guess. But I liked what he had to say. See? I knew.
knew something good would come from this. Yeah. I guess I learned something today. Never give up before you try. Phoenix is finally gone! It's okay for you to come out now, Grimoire! <sighs> He's so stuffy, as always, that he made me sweat, and I was even hiding. Now that I think about it, neither of you showed your faces when Phoenix was here, did you? Why wouldn't you two want to see a fellow Norman? <sighs> I guess that asks for an explanation. All right, I think I can tell you now anyway. Broadly speaking, Norman fall into two different categories. Dog Norman, and Cat Norman. The ones who like to be around humans, like Phoenix, are your dog types. The ones who prefer to stick around objects and places are the cat types. I've heard people say that dogs get attached to the human, and cats get attached to the home. So, since Mogilu's relied on you a lot over the years, does that make you a dog, Norman? Uh, no, not really. My powers actually work with Miss Mogilu's guardians, not Miss Mogilu herself. That makes me a cat type! Though, actually, considering how I serve a witch, I'd be a cat type either way! Anyway, back on topic! Dog Norman like to live among lots of humans in comfort and style! Cat Norman like me and Grimoire would rather live in forests and ruins and pass our time in idle leisure! Some, ourselves included, don't conform with expectations, instead choosing to live as we please alongside humans. What does this have to do with wanting to avoid Phoenix? There's a gap between us that can't be bridged. Like the difference between sky blue and sea blue. Come on, aren't sky blue and sea blue basically the same color? Maybe to your untrained eye, but to those who care, there's a perceptible difference in hue, slight though it might be. Whatever it is that separates them is impossible to overcome. I didn't realize it could be such a big deal. Let me ask you guys this. Are pudding and custard the same? No, definitely not. If I ordered one, I wouldn't want to be served the other. Those still sound more or less the same to me, too. Hmm. What if I said it was like the difference between sherbet and sorbet? Oh, yeah, there is a difference there. Although I usually can't remember which is which. So, like the difference between a hoagie and a sub sandwich? But those two are the same. Anyway, you get the point now, surely. We've long had our differences, and they put us in perpetual conflict. But what good does that do? Actually, on that note, is Aizen's sister going to be okay with Phoenix around? That much I wouldn't worry about. He can be obnoxiously brash and talks a lot of nonsense sometimes. But if nothing else, Phoenix has a strong sense of responsibility. Rest assured, she's in good hands. Although if you work him too hard, he'll start making speeches about uprisings and insurrections and all that stuff. 